So we are reading today from Vilap Kusumanjali, verse 20. When may this maidservant, after washing your lotus feet and brushing your teeth with a trick, seat you in the bathroom and having anointed you with very fragrant oils, massage you there. The voice is okay? We don't hear you. So, we could not hear Goranga. If it's a little bit louder, then it will be perfect. But if it's not possible, it's o it's also okay, I think, for the others. Okay, I repeat the words. Yeah, now it's better. It's much okay. more clear. Yeah. When may this maidservant, after washing your lotus feet and brushing your teeth with a brick, seat you in the bathroom and having anointed you with very fragrant oils, massage you there. Explanations. In the previous verse, Sri Raghunath had a vision of his service of washing Shimati's lotus feet and in this verse he sees him herself rings in Shimati's mouth brushing her teeth with a brick taking her into another room and massaging her with fragrant oil there. How intense is his devotional yearning? And how vivid and the genuine are his spiritual visions? When the Sataka has such a vision, he feels as if the beloved deity takes him by the hand. The more purified the heart is, the more vivid these transcendental experiences are. By the mercy of Sri Dora Sundara, all these beautiful things have been revealed by the Acharya. Is there any greater cause of heart-rending limitation? If I am deprived of the treasure they came to bring, although I was born in Gora Sundra's age. Before we continue this commentary, maybe we can say and share something about these words in which Raghunath is clearly describing his intimacy with, with Swamini. So to, to brush someone's teeth 
and to wash someone's lotus feet requires lots of lots of lots of intimacy without intimacy devotee cannot even try to serve beloved date and without intimacy towards devotee beloved ishtadev radhika will never allow anyone to serve her like this so we can imagine how radhika and maid servants are so intimate that radhika allows Inkari, yes, you can wash and brush my feet. And of course, not only that you can touch my lotus feet, but you can wash them, you can dry them with your own hair, because you are mine and I am yours. So, from these words of Raghunath, we can feel this Vishramba, this intimacy, which is desirable goal for us sadhakas. And he is teaching us through his words with one most important word in this words and this is the first word when kada in Croatian language we say also kada for the when it's the same wow. word wow. yeah so we are very familiar with this word kada especially when it's said with a lot of feelings this word has many, many meanings in the form of hankering, in the form of longing, in the form of eagerness. When it happened, when I will be in that position, when you will be merciful, or when, or when this and that, and this and that. And here, in this word, kada, when, all Raghunatha's feelings, eagerness, and humility, burning desires and humility are focused in this word. And this word is some kind of root from, all, from which all other all prayer is developing because it's coming from his heart and everything what is in the heart of the person must be soon or later be visible through his or audible through his words or visible on his face, on his behavior, because it's deeply rooted in the heart. So when Rad Raghunath is say, Kim, Kada Kim Karun, he is say, when? When will you engage me like your real kinker, marked kinkari? So this word Kim it's so important that sadhakas should allow themselves to meditate not on the meaning of the word kada, but what is behind, which kind of feeling, which kind of lamentation, eagerness, 
and humility is present in someone who is crying this word, kada, kim karomi. And this crying, which is showing eagerness in Raghunatha's heart, like we said before, it's also the sign of great intimacy to whom and for whom he is crying. For someone who is so intimate and he deeply situated in his pure, pure, pure heart. And knowing that Swamini doesn't have any hesitation but to allow her maidservant to bring her in a most in one of the most confidential rooms, and this is the bathroom. Bathroom is we know that Nivriti Nikunja, sleeping room where Radha Mohan are exchanging their love. It's most confidential and secret room, place. But we can see here, there is a one more secret confidential room, and it is a bathroom. But in this bathroom, confidential and most secret relationship within Radhika and her kinkari, maidservant, is being changed. So everything has proper place according to the proper feelings and proper needs of Swamini. So we can see here, this is the perfection of Seva, because proper Bhava is there of maidservant and proper Cheshta, action. When proper Bhava, Manjari Mellow, is flowing with proper acting, then is the perfection of Seva. And this kind of Seva brings Radhika so much pleasure. What is the goal, actually, of Manjari Seva? To give Radhika pleasure. It means to be favorable to beloved Ishtadev. What does it mean to be favorable? To give her pleasure and to please, completely please, beloved Radhika. This means to be favorable. And this kind of intimacy is so favorable because it brings Swamini in different emotional moods by remembering her about her lover and so on and so on and so on. There is more in commentary, there is more points which maybe someone else can also say about that, but not only I speak. So Goranga Sundara explained very nicely very uh, so I don't need to say but uh, so this Goranga Sundra say intimacy this to to become intimate especially no. someone has opened a mic please check and mute yeah. Because the loud sound is coming and we cannot hear clearly 
जय नंदा जी कैन यू हियर यस सो गौरंग सुंदर एक्सप्लेन वेरी नाइसली एंड एवरीबॉडी अंडरस्टैंड आई जस्ट फीलिंग इंटीमेसी मींस वी वी मे हैव रिलेशनशिप especially intimacy coming from raga love or strong feeling this we could find only in bindava especially this is mahaprabhu was showing us this babo urasarasa this Uh, intimacy relationship made servant and our swami so i was reading or maybe listening from birapak smanjari 50 and this was very interesting uh, was coming out so babo urasarasa is separation Lasso Urasa is meeting. Still, I don't understand fully. But uh, so this separation time, our feeling become very intense, especially Lada and Mohan, especially in a Sadaka Deha to our Siddha Deha or a Sadaka Deha to our Swami. So this Virapak Smanjari always describing uh, Sadaka Deha and Siddha Deha's position. So Raghunath Das was Siddha, but still he is behaving like Sadaka. Sometimes she is seeing the Dira or joining the Dira, he experiences very vivid vision, or actually in the Dira. but sometimes this dira disappeared and then at that time so much strong feeling separation is coming so that st- that separation feeling is we, we may say external separation but internally meeting and goranga sundara explain very nicely kada when this is when we are separation time this word is coming when i could meet when i could serve you when i could see you when i could touch you or whatever so this when is actually mahapab showing us In other words, find Vipra Ramba Raba, eh, Vipra Ramba Baba. So, separation time, Mahaprabhu was Radha's mood. Or sometimes Mahaprabhu's Kinkari's mood. He was so much crying for Krish Mohan or Swamini. His Radha Baba, his hankering Swamini. No, uh, Mohan. His, his, his Manjari Baba is hankering Swamini and Swami is Mohan. So today in the morning we are discussing, uh, actually Anandas Baba uh, mentioned 83 Virapaks Manjari, 83 bars, describing Gambira Lira. So how Mahaprabhu was intense feeling in Gambira Lira? So he's almost he become mad. He, he display like a Madanakya Mahababa. Or sometimes he become Manjari Baba. Sometimes he disappear in in his gambira and then 
devotee try to find out. Sometimes he devotees find out on the beach of of sea. Sometimes devotee find out the Sinhara Dwara gate. But this situation is so intense. Mahaprabhu body, especially joint, was struck. Sometimes all limb, including head, become inside of its body. Nobody could understand this feeling. And then Anandas Baba describes, at that time, Mahaprabhu was tasting Manjari Baba. Because Manjari Baba is so intense. This is like a, not only Baba, Uras Baba. Uras means so much increasing, so much uh, strong feeling in separation. Therefore, Anandas Baba said, Mahaprabhu's this body symptom actually this due to Kinkariba Manjari. So this this uh, very intimate uh, bus and uh, this Baba is very interesting. I think Guru Dev Sadhu Maharaj was saying underline this sentence. When the Sadaka has such a vision, he feels as if the beloved deity takes him by the hand. The more purified the heart is more vivid, these transcendental experience. Huh? That means more feeling is increasing, more baba is increasing, then automatically vision appear. Like a Radharani see Tamar tree. And uh, Radharani was thinking, oh, Tamar tree is actually Krishna, my dear. And then he embraced Tamar tree. And then other gopi was watching, hey, Radhika, what are you doing? Because their, their feeling is not to enough. So Radhika could see Mohan in the Tamar tree. But sometimes Mohan could see Kadamba tree as Radhika. So this this sentence I think Gurudev said underlining. Because why we could not see or maybe other devotee may see but I feel why I could not see clear vision because this missing this intimacy missing longing missing greed missing great feeling then question come how to increase this feeling then Baba said constantly hearing this Bira Paksmanja then Raghunata Das is feeling infuses <coughs> through ear or maybe through eye or through maybe different senses. So, so Goranga Sundara is explained very nicely. I just a little add it. It was so clear. Yeah. So clear for understanding and for meditating. Thank you very much, my dear. In the previous verse, Sri Raguna Das had a vision of himself washing Sri Radhika's lotus feet in the morning. And when this vision disappears, he feels a greatly burning sensation in his heart. Some inter internet interruption in Munger. Radharani 
devotion service. Chakshuji, no. Chakshuji, uh, it was uh, inter internet interruption. We didn't hear you. Okay. So if you can repeat from the point when you started. We hear just a little bit, but later on it was cut. Thank you. In the previous verse, Sri Raghunada said a vision of himself washing Sri Radhika's lotus feet in the morning and when this vision disappears he feels a greatly burning sensation in his heart. Seva Diya Pranaraka Save my life by giving me your devotion so These aspirations for Radharani's devotional service do not arise in an ordinary heart. They will arise in the heart of a person who is able to completely give up his dependence on the material world. Rade. Rade. I would like just to stop here because it's very clearly written. This kind of aspiration for Adharani's devotional service is not appearing in ordinary heart. It's not appear in the ordinary materialistic heart, ordinary devotee heart, devotee who is in mood of Vaidhi, this kind of hankering, eagerness, is not appearing in such kind of hearts. Like Jainandaji said before, and he mentioned Raga Bhakti. Only in the hearts of those who are following the footsteps of Raga Atmik devotees, who are already attain this perfection by following their footsteps means by following their emotions by tuning our own heart tuning like an instrument according to their uh, vibration of their hearts meditation on their words through the listening, meditation, relishing their words, but also their feelings, not only words. Because through relishing the feelings, we will go deeper in the meanings of the words. If we just listen the words, yet they can sound nice, attractive. But if we feel just a little bit what this kind of Raga Atmik devotee, perfect devotee, is feeling during speaking, pronouncing these words, then automatically his feelings will reflect on our hearts. It's very similar in worldly life. For example, music or reading the books or, I don't know, looking some paintings or something, some design, architecture, things. You know, when we are listening to music, it can be nice melody. But the more we put our feelings in that attractive melody, we will start to receive the feelings of musician or the singer. <clears throat> and what will happen, our attachment for that person will increase and increase 
and whatever he is doing, he will become very close with his work, with his music, for example, with his feelings. So this connection between person and his activity is very important to recognize. Because some persons are doing the same activity, but somehow they lack the feelings. Looking outside is the same. So he is playing piano and another person is also playing piano. But one is doing with the feeling and one is doing perfectly, technically, but without so much feelings. So the same thing is with devotees, with devotees who are following the mood, the mellow of eternally perfect associates of Shimataradara. So this is our sadhana. This, without this sadhana, <clears throat> this is inner sadhana. Feelings, proper feelings, proper raga, like Jainandaji said, will not appear. But if sadhaka tune his heart on the feelings of acharyas, rasik acharyas, then infusion will start to go in his own heart. So then in Sadaka will appear what Sakshuji read, save my life by giving me your devotional service. Save my life. I don't want anymore to be independent. I want to be dependent on you, my dear Swami. And only you can save my life. So, Moranga Sundaraji, I want to give you a different aspect of this interpretation. Can you hear? So, this say, uh, these aspirations for Radha's devotional service do not arise in an ordinary heart. Means Radha Darshan, Manjari Baba, Kinkari Baba does not arise in ordinary heart. That's me, my understanding of this. This Manjari Baba, Unna to Ujjwal Rasa, Swa Bhakti Shuriyan. So, Radha Nani's service as made servant, no other time, no other, no other age, no other incarnation does not review this point. Only Mahaprabhu give us this feeling and Mahaprabhu's followers give us this feeling. And uh, I was reading uh, uh, Anandas Gwaj Maharaj's Gurudev's book, uh, Manjari Swarupa Nirupa. And then that Baba said, Without mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, without following Mahaprabhu's uh, footstep or followers' footstep, we cannot attain this Manjariva. So therefore, this does not mention it, but I'm feeling 
without the mercy of Mahaprabhu or without the mercy of Mahaprabhu's followers, this Radha Dasham, the intimate service for Srimati Radha Rani, it does not appear in ordinary heart. Only someone who get mercy of Mahaprabhu's Rashika Vaishnava, Mahaprabhu's followers Rashika Vaishnava, that person get this Baba. That is, uh, I'm feeling in this, this Baba, Again, it's interruption, unfortunately. So what's happened? Well, Munger Mander is cut off from internet. They will try again. I don't see them. Yeah. Is there someone more in the meantime? Who can want to share what came to him? Gora Chandraji, I see you now. You want, you feel urge. Okay. Nothing to say, my dear. <clears throat> Only to listen today. Give us this privilege also <laughs> that we relish this through your words. If but something coming, I share. All right. Without pressure, my dear. I'm, I'm just... Nothing coming. That's okay. Like Guru Devi said, this is perfectly all right. So what should we do? Should I continue to read? Until... Munger just, yeah, maybe it's good to continue to read. Okay, where we stopped. Hmm. How can Radha Dasya? Oh, I see you. Munger is here again. Takshuji, Jayanandaji, you hear us? We don't see you and hear you. Ah, they changed the host. Okay.
Okay, I will continue to read until they appear again. How can Radha Dasya find a place in the heart which is filled with worldly feelings? The working of Maya must have disappeared from the mind and intelligence. The Lord tells Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita, the devotee who has offered his mind and intelligence to me is very dear to me. So here is a confirmation from Bhagavad Gita where Krishna is saying to his beloved friend Arjuna, devotee who has offered his mind and intelligence to me. Actually what he offered, he offered the heart. If person doesn't offer the heart, it's very difficult and maybe we can say almost impossible to fully offer to beloved Ishtadev mind, intelligence and all body. But if the heart is offered, the mind, intelligence, senses automatically is following this offering. So in all our Diksha mantras, different Goranga, Nityananda, Advaita, Gadada, Lalita, and so on and so on, Shimati Radhika, the first, first verse, first line is Swaha. I offer you, my dear Radhe, my dear Rupa Manjari, my dear Guru Manjari, I offer Swaha, like offering in the fire, you know. I'm offering my heart, my mind, my intelligence. Who can offer someone who is accepting with full faith that person to whom he is offering? Wow. <laughs> we cannot offer ourselves if we don't accept with full heart Swamini or other beloved Ishtadev. So this means offering. But in the beginning stage of our devotional life, we are offering 10% of mind, 15% of intelligence, and 50% of bodily activities. So we are sadakas, we are practitioners, we are practicing how to offer our hearts, our feeling to beloved Swamini. And the more connection is established, offering of our all existence is much more intense. Now I see Munger Mandir. <laughs> so we are missing your association. We are so much hankering and so much longing and greed, but we completely depend on the mercy of this internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> we also completely depend. We are trying in this world to be independent and look how we are dependent on such a 
materialistic even things. <laughs> so our illusion of our independence is really complete <laughs> without interruption. <laughs> but if we accept that our independency with our free will we should offer to Radhika and become dependent on her, it means that we use properly our independence. Sometimes I remember, all devotees also know this, many times we were asking why Krishna gave us independence if he knows that we will misuse it. This is not fair. This is really not fair from him. He knows that I will misuse it and he gave to me this independence. And I'm so strongly attached for my independence. I am ready to steal for, to kill, to lie, to do everything for my, to protect and establish my independence. And I remember in one lecture, Gorgon the Maharaja gave, at least for me, very nice uh, answer. It quite suits to me. And he said he gave this independence that we voluntarily, independently choose his love. If you force someone to love you, this is not love. But if someone with his own free will and independence say, okay, I want to love you, I will love you, and I love you, immediately he is offering himself to that person, and this is the proper use of independence. So we, we can see here how Krishna is also is living all his independence. He is living his independence in Vaikuntha. He is living his independence in Dvaraka, in Mathura, in all other places. But in Vrindavan, he is completely rejecting his independence and he is using his free will to be conquered by the love of his beloved Rajavasis. So Chakshuji, maybe you can continue because we read how can Radha Dasya find the place in the heart of yes. which is filled with worldly feelings. So, so Mike for well, you can hear me better than before. A little bit now it's too close. Okay. It's okay. Like this? Like this, it's Yeah, yeah. I just uh, wanted to say now, because of the independence, this is like woven into the whole sphere of life. This independence is like uh, woven into this whole structure. And again, and again, and again, and again, we have to kind of give it up. Mm. Again, we come to the worst or whatever you call it, stages where we have to give up the independence. It's like such an intense process of leaving it aside. And this and this giving up the material they say there is an echo. They say there is an echo. You can put this up. Yes. Wait, put, I don't know. Turn it off. Well, put it no, 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 no. It's our mic. Okay, so we far away because uh, I tried. Okay. There is an echo. You cannot feel. A little bit far away. A little bit far away. Like this? Yes. Yeah. A little more? Like this? Can you hear me now properly? Yes, yes. Okay. I don't know translators, but Sudevi, you can hear. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I can see you. Not so close, not so close. 
Now, like this. Don't move. <laughs> uh, how can Radhanasya find a place in the heart which is filled with worldly feeling? The working of Maya must have disappeared from the mind and intelligence. The law tells Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita, Maya Pita Mano Bhubiya Yoma Bhakta Seminitriya. The devotee who has offered his mind and intelligence to me is very dear to me. Radha Dasya is even more difficult. Without full absorption, it cannot be done. This is important. Surrendering to Krishna, we should offer our mind, intelligence, body, senses, also heart. But to become Radha Dasi is more difficult. Now the question is arising, why it's so difficult? Because Sadaka has to identify himself completely, Abhiman. Even in his Sadaka body, he has to identify himself like Radharani's maid servant and act and serve in this body. Seva Sadaka Rupena in the Manjari mood and Sida Rupena in the Manjari mood. So it requires complete identification. I am Radha Palya Dasi. I am Radha Rani's shadow. I am Radha Rani's maidservant, little girl. I am rejecting my man mentality, Purusha mentality. So this is why Baba is saying, my understanding is, it's more difficult than to surrender to Krishna. Because when we are surrendering to Krishna, there is always tendency I'm surrendering to protective Supreme Personality of Godhead. More or less, this kind of consciousness is a present in a devotee. But to surrender to Radharani and become maidservant of Srimati Radharani means the devotee left reject completely all, all, all desires for protection, mentality for asking, please give me, give me, give me, fulfill, fulfill, fulfill my desires. And he is completely identified like Radha Palya Dasi. And like Gurudev is saying, this kind of sadhana should be practiced in Sadakavesh, and Swarup Siddhi is attained in Sadakavesh. Devotee has to realize his Manjari Swarup 
during his Sadakavesh existence. Then he is going in another realm. Swarup Siddhi and Vastu Siddhi. We should, Prabhupada is very nicely explaining this in Chaitanya Charita Amrita and saying, devotee who already attained perfection, Swarup Siddhi, he still is in his sadhaka wish and connected with this material world because sadhaka body is always connected with the world. And when his time is finished, because of his perfection, self-realization, self-identification, 100% self-identification, he is going in Vastu city. Vastu means eternal, original, constitutional position, which there is no any touch of material existence. And from knowing that, Rupa Goswami is saying, Seva Sadaka Rupena, Sida Rupena, Chatrati. This is your only shelter. This is your Chatra. Following Raja Loka Anusarata, following the mood, emotions of Rajavasis, Rajavasis in Manjari mood, Rupa, Tulsi, and so on and Guru Manjari, following their emotions, and outside is serving in Sadaka wish, because Seva is always Seva, Sadaka Rupena, Sida Rupena. And in his mind, in his Chittavrit heart, is practicing meditation on self-identification and Lilas. Because if we just meditate on lilas, but we are not meditate from which angle we meditate on lila, from Manjari or from Saki, from Saka, I don't know, according to Bhava, it will be benefit, of course, but not complete benefit. Lila is meant to relish Lila, love between Radha and Mohan, but also Lila, meditation of Lila is meant to establish firmly Staibhav. No. So this is the reason why Baba is saying to become Radha Das is even more difficult in one sense. Mm. But if devotee is accepting his position, I don't want anything else. Yes, I am useless, I am not qualified, but I don't want anything else. Even Krishna can appear and try to sub subdue me, you know, seduce me. I will say, no, just, just go. You are not my goal, sorry. You are very nice, but I, you are not my goal. So when devotee is really, even if he is not perfect devotee, established in attaining his goal, in his attempt to attain his goal, he is practicing his sadhana properly. And he is using lila smarana to develop more and more and more his Manjari Swarup. I said something. Very beautiful. So I want a little bit to, uh, I don't know, after a while. So Gorana Sundra explained very nicely. So surrendering Krishna. is like uh, Gurudev's word. Sarendai Krishna is like soul consciousness. 
Soul consciousness up to Gopi Baba. And then surrendering Radhika is we may attain Manjari Baba. So, and then I, I just want to little bit explain Bhagavad Gita. Maybe if I'm wrong, please correct me. So Bhagavad Gita, 18th chapter, 65 verse. Mammana Baba Mad Bhakto. Maddeaji Maddamaske. So this verse is there. And then, then, Sarva Dharma Parityaja, Mame Kancharana Parityaja. Actually, we are feeling, why in this order? Actually, should be surrendering, and then mamana bada That is a natural order. So, I was, I was wondering why this. Then Gurudev give us answer. Because, in this mamana, eh, no, sarva dharma parichar, ma may come. So this ma may come, ma e come. Please surrender my oneness, my most dear one. Surrender. So someone who is Rashka Vaishnava, we could understand who is ma e come. So this is Radharani. So therefore, at first, worshiping Krishna, or Sarinda Krishna is indirectly mentioned, then 18 chapter 66 verse, Sarva Dharma Panitya means, beyond this, surrendering to our Radhika. This also, Guru Dev said, 10 to 10, Bhagavad Gita 10 chapter 10 verse, Assign Krishna, then slowly, progressively, we may, we attain ultimate goal of life. Pahupada still also did not mention the ultimate goal of life. This is radical service. This is for us, Manjari Baba. So, this is very interesting. Radha Dasha is even more difficult because surrendering Krishna is also difficult, but surrendering Radhika is more difficult because without assigning Krishna, without the blessing of Krishna, we cannot go Radhika. So, this very important sentence. So, our Bora Sundara, Bora Sundara, uh, explain very nicely. I just a little answer this point. Thank you. Sri Raghunath Das Goswami was once absorbed in his bhajan in an open place on the bank of Shyamakum. While Krishna stood right behind him, furnishing the sweetness of his devotee's love. Just then, two tigers came to drink water from the Kunda. Passing by right before Ravana, who did not notice anything, being completely absorbed. Vilasanathan Goswami saw what happened from a distance and said, Ramuna, you will spread your fame if you sit out here in the open. Bhajan, devoid of humility, humility is lifeless. <laughs> Unless you engage body, words, and mind, you cannot savor the rasa of bhajan. Therefore, stay in a cottage 
and meditate on Swami's four qualities in pastime there. Sanatana Goswami, whose mind was sprinkled with love for Sri Raghunath, didn't tell him what happened, what actually happened. From that day, on the Kutir system started at Ranakin. From that day on, the Kutir system started at Ranakin. Can we continue? Maybe because we have just two minutes left, or one minute left. It's so clear, you know. Bhajan devote of humility is lifeless. So this is the necklace. Trinada Pisunichena Tarore Sakusana. Which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave him his Shikshakshtaka. That this humility is the essence of devotional life. And when Mahaprabhu was talking about humility, he was thinking about real, genuine humility. Natural humility. And this kind of natural humility is coming from the soul. And someone who is, who already awakened his soul consciousness, he even doesn't have to be devotee, but if he awakened his soul consciousness, he has a quality of humility automatically. Because the nature of the soul, yes, it's eternal, full of knowledge, bliss, is active, loving, but the nature of the soul is also to be humble. Because soul knows to whom belongs. Soul consciousness means I know to whom I belong. Do I belong to Paramatma? Do I belong to Supreme Personality of Godhead? Do I belong to Krishna? Do I belong to His loving, sweet energy or Shimata Radhika, who is always in the mood of giving, giving, giving? So real humility is coming for the soul or from Swarup, spiritual identity. And this is very logical. Because this, the more person is on the bodily consciousness of life, he is the under influences of lowest gunas. Tamogun and Rajagun. But even if the person is in the mood of sattva -gun, his behavior is very nice. His culture, way of approaching to the people, his talking, his dealing, is very nice. But in one point, when in his Consciousness, Rajagun, passion appears. He completely changed his behavior. Mm -hmm. When Tamogun, ignorance appears, he completely changed his behavior and everything. Because in the bodily consciousness, it's not possible at all to be naturally humble. And we need sadhu sangha. 
because we have opportunity that by the close intimate association with sadhus we directly experience what does it mean to be naturally humble and we need this experience this is the reason why we cannot learn humility from the books this is very nice instruction baba is saying very nice instruction without humility bhajan is useless okay i accept it but without living example of humility i would not be able to apply it i will not be able to make differences what does it mean real natural humility and ordinary humility so for that we need living examples of sadhus of guru who is humble even when he is shouting <laughs> on someone when he is angry on someone why he is humble because with this harsh words and voice he wants to awake up the person when i am harsh with someone this is my false ego but when sadhu is harsh with someone he wants to give him opportunity to change his consciousness his life and jananda ji will know that i think the prabhupa or chakshu ji you will know that how prabhupa they said that sadhu sometimes is using flower words and sometimes his words are like a thunderstorm you know <laughs> thunder light like this but everything is beneficial for the person so this humility also must be infused it cannot be learned it's not something which we which there is manual for learning how to be humble it's not a repairing washing machine you know? <laughs> manual for repairing wrong broken washing machine no it's not this is the spiritual process we need spiritual deep soul soul humility and like a pure love has to be infused in the heart of sadaka also this humility automatically with pure love is going two medicines in one infusion love humility eagerness so are infused in the heart this is why we need close association with sadhus adivad separable what this means this quality is you cannot separate them from each other all package yeah all package and <laughs> So I want to I want to say a little Guru Dev to one. Once Guru Dev said, "If you are in Swarupa consciousness, you can do whatever you you like, and all correct." So if if we are Swarupa consciousness, if we are acting as Swarupa, then every action is good. My understanding like this: real humbleness means we are acting in Swarupa, in the influence of internal potency, means Radhana uh, influence. Then whatever we act is very humble, and everything good. 